Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Hi, good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live. I'm your host, Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello. This evening, we're having a very special, very full house edition of Strange Love Live, and I'm not talking about the TV show. Just occurred to me. Um, we're going to talk about or vlogs. It's past and it's present and it's future. And we're going to do that with three of the people who've been working very, very hard on it. Don't tell me that you haven't been working hard on it. Two on have. camera. Two on camera and one right here to my left. That's right. But we've got John Meta. Hi. <laughs> and we've got AJ. Yay! Yay! And we've got Bill Jackson. So. AJ, can you just say your last name? Weinzettel. Okay, because nobody ever says it, so I just want to... Wait, can you say that again? Weinzettel. It's too Wein. long. I mean... Weinzettel. When he, so when he got AJ. here, I asked him if I should use it, and then I couldn't deter I couldn't decide if I wanted to use the German pronunciation or the English pronunciation. Oh, Weinzettel? Weinzettel. Because I always want to turn W's into V's. I, I'm with you. But it's yeah. just because Dr. Normal's family is German. Hello. So. <laughs> Welcome to Germany. <laughs> Do you have your happy pants? <laughs> so I have to know before we go on. I don't know. Let me check my orb logs. <laughs> I have to know before we go on that I had just gotten finished telling, gotten, no, no, it doesn't work. I just got finished telling everyone to make sure that all their electronic devices had the sound turned off. And as the theme was playing, I kept hearing this kind of echo. And I was like, where the hell is that coming from? And I'm looking around. And of course, I'm giving Verso dirty looks because... It's usually for so. And then I realized that Dr. Normal's laptop has the volume on. Yeah, it's a good point. But <laughs> that's okay. It wasn't coming over the mic, so we would have caught it. Well, I could hear it. And that's it was okay. bothering me. All right. I'm the host. I'm the little prima donna crazy person. That's right. Yes, got to make her happy. And laptop sound being on is often what happens over there at Orblogs, isn't it? Okay, now we're ready to talk about Orblogs. <laughs> I want to talk. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a rare Dr. Normal hand sighting. Okay, so who wants to tell us about the past of Orblogs? What was Orblogs and why it was so important to blogging in Oregon? The doom. All right, everybody's looking at me. Um, I discovered Orblogs right as it was dying. Mm -hmm. So I can't really speak actually a lot about the past, but I did... Um, the day after it was dead, I talked to Paul Bosch. I called him on the phone, and we had about a three-hour conversation. Um, and I learned that it was like many things in Oregon, um, many things probably including Strange Love Live, it was something that was done by one person, this, in this case two, obviously, but it was done by one person, and... It became something much, much more than that person ever intended or thought it possible. And I think it, it did so because people in Oregon just wanted to know what was going on with other people either like them or, or doing things like them. And so a lot of people used it. Um, Rick Tarosi said himself that that was the impetus for um, Silicon Florist. I know a lot of people have gone to it. This is um, from Paul himself. Paul Bosch, by the way, is the person who created Orblogs back in, I think it was 2005. Um, and he said that, you know, a lot of people would find it and just that would be the reason they start blogging because there's so much great stuff going on. Um, but, but again, this is second, this is second hand for me. So, so then... You, like you said, you came out on the end of it when it was kind of dying out. So he had done this all by himself for several years, and it just kind of, everything started falling apart. It wasn't ever meant for that much traffic. It wasn't ever meant for that, to have that much content. Is that? Um, I believe what it was is, you know, if it was meant to be, it, w it was meant to be a clearinghouse for all the blogs of Oregon. I don't think that he really knew that there were that many blogs to begin with, because he told me at one point he realized that there were 600 blogs in Portland that he was tracking. And he thought that that would be maybe the maximum he would ever get. Um, and so 
I think that the, it's a, it was a combination of a lot of things. The main thing, from the way it sounded when, when I talked to Paul, and it would be great if he were here on the phone or on a chat room or something, can confirm all this, but it sounded like it was just a very long time with very, there was a lot of work and surprisingly little recognition. And he went into great detail about the fact that um, a lot of people ended up using Oregon blogs as a marketing tool. And, and it seemed like it was actually in marketing literature. Like, you know, if you're starting a company in Oregon, you know, you do this, you do this, and you, you put your blog on Aura blogs. And so he ended up with a lot of um, like photography companies and um, real estate companies and things that were, you know, I mean, there's, there's a lot of these things that didn't even really care about blogging as sort of a culture and, and a phenomenon that, that were sort of using him and, and he wasn't getting it, you know, any money for it and he was putting a lot of work into it. So then it ended. What made, and I'll have each of you answer, what made you want to be involved with the rebirth of it? Well, let's let somebody else talk. Okay, well, I guess that would be me. Um, I saw that org blogs was something that was out there and, you know, it was going to just die. I mean, obviously, Rick Tarosi and, you know, his great marketing that he does just gets the word out there. And it's... Um, at that point, I was like, oh, wow, or blogs. You know, I had kind of been introduced to it a little bit, but I wasn't really in-depth into the reach that it had in the community. But when Rick Terosi, you know, brought it about and everything, I was like, wow, th you know, this is something that really needs to be kept alive, and we need to really work on getting it out there and making sure that it doesn't die. And so I was like, okay, what do we need to do? Let's get it going, and, uh, you know, let's just dive into it. And because it is a great community effort that's out there, and it just it's something that um, the community uses quite a bit. And, you know, we're all about community. Without the community, without the people that's out there, you know, what's the point? You know, community is community, and we are a community. Bill? Who, who oh. I keep being told has done a lot of the heavy lifting lately. A lot of the heavy lifting. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. This well, is Waji for anyone who isn't following along. Um, I also. Again, we can see your hand again. Yeah. Let Mogulus catch up. Uh, no, I also uh, heard about the demise of Or Blogs on Silicon Florist, and so uh, I saw Metador getting really excited about the possibility of creating some kind of replacement, and I just thought, hey, this is something I can help with that you know might actually matter. I'm always doing little side projects for myself and my girlfriend, and I was just looking to do something a little more impactful. I think I remember um, John and I we were, we were looking at the code, and it was like, "Oh wow, Java! Oh, Java! <laughs> oh, I think uh, I'm going to be sick." <laughs> yeah, and then we were so fortunate to have Waji come up and say, "Hey, you know." You know, I think I have some time to do this, you know, but, you know, you know, I have, you know, some limited time and, you know, we're very grateful for all the work that you've done and put into this. It's, it's very much appreciated. Thank you. You're welcome. And John, why did you? I, um, so, so the big confession here is that I wasn't so much interested in Oregon blogs as I was in Gorge blogs mm -hmm. um, because the, I see... I mean, you know, I live in Hood River, and and my wife and I are active in the in the community of the Columbia Gorge, and um, I thought I thought it was really interesting that there could be something of a community among bloggers, and not only bloggers, but people who are interested in putting information, personal essays, or stuff on on the internet, and. And Oregon blogs was something that was larger than I was even thinking about, but I thought, you know, if Oregon blogs can make it, then something small and regional for any region can maybe make it. And so it was the concept more than that. And I actually, so to bring it back to Paul Bosch a little bit, I, I talked to him about that. And one of the, the, one of the things that he was interested in doing 
um, he thought about at the beginning was not so much Oregon blogs, but that any geographic region or inter geography of interest could have its own blogging community. And so Oregon blogs for him, I thought it was interesting because for him it was, that was a foundation of an idea, not not, it was, you know, Oregon Blogs was not the end-all be-all. It was the idea that you could have sort of a community of bloggers at any, at any scale or in any interest level. So I, I just wanted to clarify, um, Oregon Blogs or or Blogs was really an, uh, simply an aggregator or much more than that? Can you just kind of step through for the uninitiated, you know, what, uh, what would people get just an aggregation of blogs all over the state or yeah and in its original um, the the way that Paul wrote it originally it was merely an aggregator um, so it just and it didn't instantly aggregate all the blogs you would have to go on there and put your blog on it and it would add it to just basically a large list of all the blogs of Oregon um, but now thanks to Patrick's code and um, mostly Waji's work, Bill's work. Um, it's much more than that now. Wh why don't you talk about what it is now, Bill? I'm <laughs> not really <laughs> sure where to begin. You're kind of putting me on the spot here. Um, <laughs> well, I think at this point we have a lot more ideas for it than we've actually implemented so far. Uh, Patrick gave us a great code base to start with that does excellent aggregation, and it has some dig style ranking built in. And uh, it has a lot of potential. And there are a lot of things that we'd like to do with uh, grouping blogs by geography, possibly by topic, uh, basically being able to get a feed for whatever your special interest is. Um, of course, it's not all actually there yet. So, <laughs> Is there anything else, John, that you wanted to add to that? I, I like your your input of Twitter, which, you know, could be a little bit of a drinking from the fire hose if you have a Twitter stream. But, but I mean, there are other things other than blogs, like Twitter, friend feed. Um, Shizau. Yeah, Shizau. I've put that would, Shizau that would, feed on there, too. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, so, I mean, there, there's a lot of live stream style stuff that you can, that you can put on. So, I think it's a really interesting comment because blogging everyone understands now everyone grasps the concept of blogging even my grandmother understands blogging i mean not everyone's mm. grandmother does but my grandmother does my parents both have blogs at this point and everyone can kind of accept that concept as a fact of life now people have blogs is what people do a lot of people blog but you know the shazow stream and the the twitter streams you can kind of get a really clear picture of someone's life looking through those streams and I think it's a really, I had no idea that that was going to be a feature. And I think that's really interesting. I'm just wondering how that is going to play into it. I mean, how will that work? Bill? <laughs> Bill? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't code that one. <laughs> I, uh, I think it's fantastic. I just, I'm curious. Yeah, I, I don't really know yet where exactly we're going with it. I just thought I like to have data and I like to mess with data and I do strange things with Yahoo pipes. <laughs> um, so I just like to get as many feeds as I can and feed them in there and see what comes out the other side. Um, but of course, there's a lot of things that we need to do as far as filtering, because simply uh, Twitter stream alone can just overwhelm the content from regular long form blogs. And uh, the same thing with Shizau, since right now we're basically doing everyone within a certain radius of uh, Portland. <laughs> so basically everyone that's on Chizaz, except for like San Francisco <laughs> and Seattle, uh, you know. So that's a lot of data going through there. And the things that are maybe more valuable to you, like the actual long form blog post, can get drowned out. So we need to come up with some way to make it more usable. So would there be like an, a normal or blogs and then an or micro blog or I mean, yeah, it's possible. We talked about uh, putting some kind of uh, tabbed categorization onto the website. I mean, I don't think the how it's implemented in the UI is that important. But just the ability to maybe select what you want in your overall stream or go and look at substreams. And again, there's a lot of different groupings that can be done besides just the source of the data. 
So in the past, to be on Orblogs, you had to submit yourself. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be the same um, scenario in the future? I think for the foreseeable future, because it, it's, it would be, I don't know, it would be sort of a weird system for the aggregator itself to find and select the blogs. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, there, there may be a situation where somebody, you know, I mean, I may just not really want my blog listed on an aggregator and mm -hmm. so, or, or not care about it that much. And so I think, I don't know, I think that's one way to, to reduce the, um, the fire hose is to not, not do things like that, forced aggregation, sort of Google style. And will you continue to, I mean, is there a way that you can make a distinction? You said part of the problem with Paul was that he was getting, basically, he was giving free advertising to companies who were setting up blogs as a advertising. And working very hard and for that very free hard for that advertising mm -hmm. without compensation, um, right? Will you continue to just let everyone, anyone use it? or? Well, I think that's where the community management filtering uh, model kind of comes in. Like the dig style rankings is one thing. And... Uh, over time, if enough people actually participate in the ranking system, you can get a pretty clear idea of the value of any particular source. So if you have some spammy marketing blog and people are ranking them down all the time, then we'll know that source is not very trustworthy. Mm -hmm. And so we can just automatically, not necessarily exclude them entirely, but we can you know, push them so far down the list that it doesn't matter. You know, If you're on the 100th page of a Google search results, then nobody's ever yeah. going to look at your site. Yeah, and I think I think that's going to happen naturally. With the, um, Pat, Pat, one of the great things about Patrick's code is that most of these most of these sites that Paul was talking about would basically put they would they would build a blog, mm -hmm. put one or two posts on it saying, "Hey, buy my product," or you know, "Let me take pictures at your wedding," and that's the only thing that they would ever do. Like the Twitter spammers, exactly, that get exactly, out yeah, and get booted, yeah, exactly, yeah. like a Twitter spammer. Um, and so, what what this is going to do is it's going to promote activity. And so, if you're one of those, so if you are, I mean, I think it's fair to say, if you're a business who is actively blogging, um, like I mean, some of the businesses that we know and love, yeah, I think it's fair for you to be on an aggregator service. And me, as somebody who's volunteering. I won't necessarily mind helping you. Like I would never mind helping Iterasi or Vidoop succeed Correct. because I love them as companies. And they're active in the community. And they're active. Yeah. And right. so I think if, if you have a system that, that self-selects for activity and community support, like the system, then just like, just like Bill said, I mean, you know, those ones that we didn't like before, they're going to automatically get kicked down. Right, and, oh, and uh, I should just note that when he says he loves Iterasi and Vadoop, he's not exaggerating. <laughs> Go and read his blog. <laughs> no, he's not exaggerating. He loves um, a lot of and, and the feeling is, he's is a loving shirt. guy. <laughs> and when we first started this, uh, Patrick Lightboy was very nice enough to say, hey, I've got this code base. It's already set up basically for all of this. I need to do some modifications to it, and it is ready to go. So, you know, coding from scratch here wasn't... Um, an option. Um, well, it was an option for us, but we already had a nice code base. It wasn't a base. necessity. Right. So it was nice that Patrick was able to come out and say, hey, I've got this code. Here you go. Patrick that, is the fourth member of the team who is not here this evening. That's um, P... Uh, Lightbody. Yeah. P, oh, yeah. P Lightbody. Patrick Lightbody. P, P Lightbody. Light Bow. Lightbow? Lightbow. 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 I like Plightbow. <laughs> I, I gave you the paper. Yeah. I'm yeah. Always I was reading the Twitter name so everybody knows. So um, the, the, so, so the way this works, so y you guys are all from kind of different areas in, in the region here. I mean, as far as uh, uh, you're coming from the gorge, um, you're coming from out in Sherwood. Dr. Normal is and under the impression that when he points at people yeah. off camera, you can yeah, see I'm, him. I'm, yeah, I'm just <laughs> so, you know, John is from the gorge. gorge. I'm from Sherwood. That's right. And, and Waji, you're, you're in, from Portland. You're in Portland. Yeah. So you're right in the downtown. Yeah, I'm right downtown. So, and, and that's, is it to, it seems that org blogs, there's so much activity in Portland, but it seems like the idea there was to bring attention to the greater state, you know, in other words, other areas, you know, we've got a lot of good Portland blogs there 
And are you going to try to like balance that? I mean, there's other places you can go to get info for in the city of Portland. Are you going to try to make sure that the the stuff that's coming out of, you know, the gorge out of, uh, uh, you know, down in Corvallis, Eugene, Bend, the coast, you know, wherever that well, information Paul, Paul was from. I mean, Paul is in Corvallis. There you go. So I mean, the so. system was designed in Corvallis. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, is there some kind of focus to make sure that 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 those blogs are 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 coming out and focused? I think part of the reason, this is Verso by the way, um, hey, I think part of the reason this is really important is because as someone from the part of the state that is not populated, yes, the part where it snows and people can still drive, um, being one of those people, it's really important for somebody in Pendleton or Klamath Falls or Ontario to have that kind of resource and be able to find that kind of stuff and aggregate the information that's important to them. Because I think, particularly with OR blogs, one of the nice things about it was it was Oregon and not Portland. And we did some other stuff. And I think that's the piece that really is nice about having you guys in on it because Sherwood is not Portland. Hood River, certainly not Portland. And I think that piece of it is also what's really important about this. So for me, as someone from the side of the state where there are no people, but there's weather, um, that's the part that is really, for me, interesting. I can read blogs about Pendleton and LaGrande and Boardman and Irrigan and Bend and Ione and where? Curtain. Curtain. Oh, and, and Drain. And drain. drain. Yeah. Boring. <laughs> Medford. <laughs> K Falls. Lakeview. Make, make sure you have coffee with her to get this yeah. list, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if you're like the one, if you are the one person in Ione and all you're blogging about is Tuesdays when the train comes through, um, that's fine. But... Be that person, and I will be able to find your blog as a function of OR blogs. So for me personally, that was the thing that I really loved, and that's why I was really excited not to have it die, was because you guys were able to to make it something that was Oregon, and not like a lot of things that say Oregon, but mean Portland, and if we have room, some of the other stuff, meaning Corvallis and Eugene. So. Yeah, let's... Uh, yeah. What just, just I, I just want to, I just want to clear something up. When you said you guys were able to make it, um, that was Paul. <laughs> <laughs> so we were the not dying part. We were. You guys. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yes. And and I I I wanted to. I, I don't I don't really see Patrick as the fourth member of the Horror Blogs team. Mm -hmm. I see us as us here as three of the members of a very large team. Um, that that's. Are there more people well, working on it than the four of you? I, I mean, there are a lot of people that are doing things that, you know, that they can when they know how or, mm -hmm. when, or, or when they have time to jump in. Like, I mean, Bram and, and um, Jeremy, so Bram Patoyo and I don't know how you pronounce it. No, but I think you pronounce it. I think it it's Patoyo. Brom, I think you said it right. Um, it's and, Brom, um, yeah. and Bram. Brom, Brom. Yeah. And Jeremy, um, Metrono. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, they want to work on... The layout, um, because they don't either have time or the inclination to deal with the code, and so they want to work on the layout. Um, Jeff Martins wanted to work on mar um, marketing and, and aspects like that. I mean, people people want to work on it as in in whatever way they can, and I th I think we need to just make space for that. I don't I don't like to think of it as just one team. I like to think of OR blogs as something that. The entire state of Oregon, if they care to, can have a part in. So it's a community project. I like it's that. It's like a community garden. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's very nice. Dr. Normal? Oh. Well, and uh, when Versa was talking, it reminded me that I had posed the question the other day of whether we even want to be strictly limited to Oregon. Because, you know, we all know that Southwest Washington is as much a part of our community as, you know, Eastern Oregon. I, I know for a fact that there was at least one blog in Vancouver that was included on the blog yeah. because somebody had yeah. a little bit of a snit fit. Um, and yeah, there's. <laughs> no wonder. And so there, there's not just Vancouver, but uh, there's also out the gorge. Yeah, I mean, I, that, I mean, people on on the Washington side of the gorge, they're much more part of the gorge community than say yeah, the Washington exactly. community. And and that's why the gorge. I mean, it was the gorge for me. It wasn't Oregon blogs because I don't think of. I don't think of myself as a member of Oregon so much as I do as a member of the Gorge community. And there's this sort of, as my wife 
as my wife puts it, there's an artificial, I mean, just, we sort of, it's unfair to us that there's ar this artificial boundary running down this river that doesn't matter to us, you know? <laughs> I mean, we're, we're part of a community that transcends that. So I, I think that's a good insight with, with involvement from people around the state, is you're looking at your area and saying, hey, I'm, I'm the cheerleader for this area, right? And so if I'm in this aggregator, people are going to know about my area, right? So it's more Local. like Pacific Northwest blog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so I did want to ask um, about how you're launching it and where where you're at today because you have the the current url that you're testing is um ig n o yeah. oregon or how does that work so oh. um there was a <laughs> um gosh i can't remember kyle's last name now I'm, I'm sorry kyle but um kyle from barfly wrote he he coded up sort of a temporary aggregator by himself and this is way, oh, way back in the beginning okay. and he named it Ignoregon. It's kind of a pun and a joke and I thought it was really funny. Um, and I pointed, at that point we didn't have anything running and so I pointed the OR blogs domain at Ignoregon and that's, I mean, you know, we talked about it and he said, you know, you've got a much better code base than me and, and um, that's what you have being developed is, is better than I was going to go anyway. And so what we did is, um, Bill, well, Bill, why don't you talk about the test server? Because that's really where things are going now. Yeah, what would you like me to say about it? I mean, <laughs> we have a test server out there. Um, the URL is published. I feel almost silly actually saying it. So, John? Hacks. Yeah, <laughs> with two X's. It, it's <laughs> hacks.orblogs.org, you know, hacks or blogs. Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> so we have that out there. We have some people hitting on it, like... Uh, Kathleen McDade has added some feeds, I know, and there's, John there's, Nassis. There's, there's like right? four people in the studio right now that just got the joke, and it's hilarious. <laughs> I love it. I mean, I, th I think a, he's, a, he's a genius at these little jokes that people don't get right away. It, it's it's like my Twitter name. <laughs> yeah. I love it when people I just that found out. out what your Twitter name was oh. tonight, and I almost had kittens. I was like, oh, I know the secret. <laughs> so nobody say anything for anyone that's yeah, listening. I'll be laughing at the jokes when I'm editing the show tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little busy right now. <laughs> Later, it'll be awesome. Of course. <laughs> it always is. Well, now I know how I can contribute to Orblox. <laughs> there you go. So we'll at be the, the jokes humor later. contingent yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, actually, the best thing to do for anyone that wants to contribute is go out to the blog at uh, blogs. Or, I'm sorry, blog.orblogs.org or to go to the Google group. Uh, where we have the mailing list going on with ongoing discussion. And, and um, I think I should redirect. I wonder if I should just redirect or blogs at this point to the test server just to... It probably could it. hurt. Just to build some juice. Say it. The, so, so, well, there is, yeah. the, there, there, is the, the, there is the OR blogs at blogs.orblogs.org. Is, is that what you blog. wanted me to say? <laughs> no, I wanted you to say hacks or blogs again. <laughs> Hacks or blogs. Hacks or blogs. After hours started early tonight, it's just <laughs> ten people in the room. It's like, oh my god, the so, Titanic is listing. So, I, I think blog.orblogs.org is the best place for someone to get started. There are pointers to the Google Code site, the Google group where we have the mailing list, the uh, test site. The development information section on the test site, which is completely hidden unless you know the link, um, and probably a whole bunch of other stuff I'm not even thinking of. Yeah, yeah. Too I, many secrets. And I do, I do want to reiterate that I think the best thing to do for anybody right now is to just hit it's hacks h a x x dot o r blogs dot org. Hit that site and try to use it and figure out what's wrong with it because that's what we need to know what right now. Yes, and we get like what? Yeah, let us know. <laughs> that's that's the important part, actually, is to let us know. Don't not, just not complain. To just, not to your to your just mom. complain about it. And yeah. and no, it is not a political blog site. We are not turning Oregon <laughs> blogs into a political blogging site. Yeah, that... but I heard you were. <laughs> oh, why can't we talk about Sam Adams here? Yeah, Come you on, you we can talk about that after hours. Oh, okay. After okay. No, the code base that Patrick contributed actually came from a political site, and we just haven't gone and updated all the copy yet. 
Okay, well, Dr. Normal's playing the exit music, so it's time to say goodnight to everybody. Uh Uh-oh. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for for being here. Join us for After Hours in a few minutes, and join us next week where we welcome some Boise people. Mm -hmm.